Hey guys, here's an update for the Blender add-on JMesh Tools. I added some new features that can be used for sculpting. Let's start with an example of a human ear. I enable the primitive mode of JMesh Tools. The primitive type are set to curve and the input method to points. Ok, then I go ahead and press Ctrl left click to start adding points to the curve. Each time I left click I add a new point. And then I press Ctrl left click again to complete the curve. When the curve is created I can select points and scale them by pressing Alt and S. Or press the G key to move the points. Alright, what I can do now is to open an Adjust Curve Overlay, set the overall size of the curve. And then no matter in which mode you are, press Join and Remesh to join the curve as a mesh with the target. You just voxel remesh it to one piece and then you can use any brush you like to continue your sculpting. Now let's use it for the lips. Again I go to primitive mode and add a curve. Like that and then I add a mirror that can be used for curves as well. Once more I select some points and adjust the size by pressing Alt and S. And you see it is mirrored, the other side is affected as well. And then I join and remesh but this time I don't open the overlay. I press Shift and the comma key to open the pie menu of JMesh tools. And here we also have the option to join and remesh. Nice, but the feature isn't limited to curves, it can also be used for meshes. Let's suppose we have these arms here and a hand and we want to join these two meshes. Now I move and rotate the hand in object mode so that it fits the end of the arm. And as you might know when you transform an object in object mode like rotating or scaling it, then you have to apply the transforms before adding modifiers like the mirror. But when I add the mirror using JMesh tools with this button here, the transforms are applied in the background. Ok, now I apply the mirror modifier. And then again I join and remesh. The arms are defined as target. And I open the pie menu, join and remesh. And here you see it, the objects are nicely remeshed and joined. And the add-on switched to sculpt mode. And you can use this feature also in edit mode. Here I have a cylinder in edit mode and then I duplicate it. And again I want to have three of them. And then still in edit mode I join and remesh. For me that's sometimes a big time saver when adding base meshes to the sculpting. Now I smooth it a bit and then I come with the inverted inflate brush to sculpt some indentations and holes into the parts. Alright, but there is more. A new feature called the Mesh Snap Operator. I start again in primitive mode and draw a rectangle onto this head. Then I press Alt and M to convert the primitive into a flat mesh, a plane in this case. Then I close the primitive mode by pressing the escape key and open the mesh snap overlay. Here we can define the thickness of the mesh. For this a solidify modifier is added and also two other modifiers, the shrink wrap and the subdivision surface. You can see them here in the modifier tab. Ok, now you can easily extrude parts of the mesh by pressing the E key, scale, rotate, it is always snapped to the target and you can use it to add any kind of object that is snapped to the mesh, like in this case the eyebrows or a shirt. Here add an edge loop and then set the shading to smooth. If you like you can add a mirror now. Or switch to sculpt mode and use the grab brush and move the mesh still snapped to the underlying target. Of course you can do this without any add-ons, 
but I think it's a nice shortcut to configure your meshes like this very fast. Ok, let's use this technique again for the arm model to add some bends or straps. Just draw the rectangle onto the target, turn it into a plane, then activate mesh snap, define the width. I also set the shading to smooth. I will add these settings to the overlay as well in a new version. And now I extrude the mesh around the arm. Nice, then I press Ctrl and the R key to add some supporting edge loops. Like that, and then I open the mesh snap again. The solidifier is still active, so you can modify the thickness of the object. There's also a button to apply all the modifiers, and here is the resulting mesh. Guys, I hope you like the new features, if you do then let me know. And don't forget to subscribe also to my Instagram, where I upload my renders and also short videos. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. The link to the free add-on is added to the description. Download it from there and I see you in the next one.